Hello, um, I'd like to use this short video tutorial to explain um, a couple of things about the customization of each individual offices page for the new DMG website. Um, basically, we have this item right here, location page guide.pdf. Um, this is in the DMG box. Um, we also have a secondary file, which is this DMG image specs.pdf, which is basically just explaining um, sizes, aspect ratios, uh, etc., for images that we're using in different places on the new site. Um, and then here is uh, a sample page. This is San Diego 3. It's not in the flow of things yet. But basically, what we have going on. And again, this is all documented in that uh, location page guide PDF file, but I thought it'd be easier just to explain it than have to go through and read it. But um, this is the hero image. We have page specs um, or image size specs in that other file. Um, this section right here is the office intro. And then following that, we have the office sidebar. And then following that, we have the office products. And right now I only have one. Again, this is just a sample page, San Diego 3. Um, the other pages have, I, I believe Los Angeles had content and then we took it out for the sales meeting. But I'm just gonna show you how we can customize this page per office, because I think that might partly be a sticking point um, about rolling out the new site. So let's jump into it. Um, here we are in the WordPress dashboard, and I can make either a user account um, for each office manager or make a generic office manager user account, and we can share that uh, with all nine offices. Um, depends on how you would like to have that taken care of. But what we're going to do basically is we're going to go into pages and then all pages to get to our sample page. Um, they're all listed alphabetically with the exception of when we have a parent page, it's children are listed underneath there. So divisions is alphabetical, but then these items, um, instead of this being filed under G because it's a child of divisions, it's um, listed under those. So uh, locations is about on the second page of um, all of our pages here. And for this demo, we're gonna work on San Diego 3. What we have in here is um, our basic content for San Diego 3 and like I was showing um, in that tour, this is the office intro and we can close this section and then office products, we can close that section. And then this is the main um, WordPress settings. You don't really need to be too concerned about that with the exception of this, which is sidebar. And we have a custom uh, sidebar per office. So we're using the San Diego sidebar, obviously, for San Diego. Um, real quick, I don't want to get off topic, but um, under appearance and widgets, that's where we'll find our sidebars. So these are default sidebar, but here's San Diego. Uh, one thing I wanted to note that on the north site, um, in the contact info, we removed the um, office manager's name just for privacy. So if you want to do that, you can go to your individual sidebar under contact info. That first section that says text had the office manager's name. And then down here, we can uh, save that. And we can also change your email address if you wanted to change it to something more generic. Um, so again, this part of the page right here is the sidebar, and that is located, the options for that are located here under sidebar. Um, this library item here is the, um, this is already set, and what that's doing is pulling, let me go ahead and show you. This box right here is our office intro that you would see normally at the top of the page right here. 
right here. And so let's go back to pages, all pages, section two, locations, San Diego three. So again, our office intro is this photo of the Intercontinental Hotel. If you need to change that, you can basically exit out and then go to the media library and select one. That's basically the same function for doing any of the products, so I'm not going to take that out right now. But um, this is the little field that says DMG San Diego. That's where that's coming from. Here's a short description, and that is right here. And then intro paragraph is right here. We have also an option for the license number. And uh, what North is doing is they're using this as a featured project. So this button text and button link, um, for example, we could use this and this, oh, that's not the right thing, excuse me. Basically, you'd paste in a URL here, and then when we update that, it didn't work. That's awesome. Uh, it would the button would show up right here. I'll fix that. It might not be in this exact template. I know we've changed some We've changed some templates as we've gone along here um, Anyways back to this We have Let's close the office intro and we're gonna go into office products so this is the one that's already there as an example. So we have AHU, here's our air handling unit photo. Again, it comes from the media library. And then we have uh, this section here. This is called your WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. And it's a pretty straightforward editor. You can, um, add, you can add another item. So that's really straightforward what's happening there. Um, we're not currently using this because we don't have the secondary drill down page set up on this new site so um, we're basically not using this right now but if we were using it actually I believe this is connected um, if we actually click this it's going to take us to the other page which is products and HU again we don't have content there so we're not using that yet but when we do have content um, we'll be using these links and what's happening here is this is a relative path, which means we don't need to type in dmg.com slash whatever. That would all go right there. We're just going to go to slash what our parent page is slash what the child page is. So products AHU, because again, we have pages that are nested under parents. So locations, divisions, products, markets, our main categories that you're going to find in like top level navigation. For example, join us, events, training, and careers are children of join us. And again, these are all children of locations. So that's what's happening there. Um, and that's how you would basically find your URL. So you can see here we have locations, San Diego 3. So that would be we don't need this top level domain, we just need the relative path, which is everything from here back, including that slash. So, product title two, we're going to go uh, VRF. And then this will drop us over into the media library. We can search. And there is our item. Um, Alt text is important for SEO and also for anybody using a screen reader. So DMG VRF is fairly descriptive. Um, HVAC VRF unit might be a little more descriptive. So we need something in there. The title isn't necessary, but that was helpful when we were trying to find this. So 
there we go with that. Um, and then we've got our product description and I've got these keywords saved off to the side. So we can go ahead and just drop that list in there and then we can turn it into a bulleted list like so. And again, we're not using these, but it would be that's a relative path. And then we update that and drop over on the front page. And there's our second unit. Okay, just to avoid any confusion here, I uh, replaced this top template, which is called the Office Intro Template, um, with the new version, which has our uh, link in here. And again, um, this is from, let's jump back out here. We're on our San Diego 3 page. So again, this Office Intro, and then we've added Intercontinental San Diego and then the link to that um, that item. Uh, so that's basically what we're doing. So now we can add up to, um, I've got the page set up to have up to eight different product images, and you're gonna wanna put these in order. We have them obviously in order numerically. We don't have a specific, put this product first or second. It's gonna be up to each office. And then again, that's why I was hoping to make this really simple with a field, add an image, add your text, and when we're ready, add a link. So it's just filling out this form essentially to deliver this front page content. And um, again, with this um, sidebar, this is called content sidebar relationship. It's pretty standard in WordPress. Um, again, with the mobile version, what we're doing is this template is slightly different, but it has the button that comes with it and this intro content per office. And when we're on a phone, we have the sidebar showing first, followed by the main content of the page. And what that's trying to do is having basically the phone number just right there on top. We're trying to initiate that call to the office or a contact email. Um, just to get a customer client, um, first order of business is contact. So um, that's what's happening there. And again, when we're on the full size page, um, this is a little more dynamic because it has this entire intro. Again, I can change these templates to have this show up on mobile if you'd like. It's not there right now, but um, these templates are pre-built and inserted into each office page already. So all that anybody on the back end would need to do would be to add these items and the office intro. And again, once you're inside of the page, it's basically just filling out a form. So we've got these two sections of office intro and office products inside of your page. And then we're gonna update that when we're done editing and we're good to go. So here's our new content that we've added. And then here's this, which links out to another page. And again, this whole thing is described a little more in depth on our location page guide PDF. And then the image specs is basically just giving us like the um, aspect ratio and sizes for these images that we're gonna be uploading and using uh, throughout the site. Um, if you'd like any other customizations, uh, when you're ready to add users, etc., let me know and I will get that stuff taken care of. Again, this uh, little short video tutorial goes along with this document and this document that can be found in Box. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Thanks so much for watching.